Well, after a good night's rest, I woke up this morning and I was ready for a big breakfast. And one thing I heard over and over again from all the locals is that if you want a good breakfast, you need to come here. Chicken Little Family Restaurant. They said it was home cooking and it's the best. It was built in 1955. It was built originally for a, a little grocery store. My mom bought the business in uh, 1981, and we have been here for 31 years. Well, you know I never met a stranger, so I've already found a table that'll, that'll have me here this morning. I'm here with Bernie, one of my new friends, and Bernie, I hear you come here quite a bit. Well, every, every morning. Every morning for how long? About 20 years. Every morning for about 20 years, so I'm guessing you know the menu pretty well. Yeah, I sure do. It must yeah. be pretty good. There's usually 10 to 15 guys, you know, together here about every morning. Every morning? Yeah. And you already had your breakfast this morning. What'd you have this morning? That's biscuit gravy and pink sausage. Nice, and you finished your whole plate, so you didn't save me a bite. That's right. I'm gonna have to order my own, huh? Yeah. All right, what should I get this morning? Well, uh, bacon, sausage, biscuit, gravy. Um, it's all good. So bring your appetite when you come over here to Chicken Little. All right. That's right. All right, well, I'm ready to look at a menu and order up. Thanks, Bernie. Okay. Instead of a restaurant, they feel like they're coming to their house. Some of them will go behind the counter and fix a a drink for themselves. <laughs> All right, you got to move over here. I got to fit in here. Now, what's your name? My name's Isaac. Isaac, and who you got with you this morning? I got morning? my friend Daniel, my friend Patrick, and my friend Frank. Okay, so you guys come here a lot for breakfast? Uh, usually in the mornings, we come here every now and then. Okay, so what do they got? A little of everything well, on the they menu? They got anything you want here. I see that he's got a lot of pancakes over there. He does. I don't think he's going to finish them either. What happened to you? Uh, well, you got a biscuit. I'm halfway through my meal. I'm going to get one. <laughs> Oh, so you've already had a plate cleared. Yeah, I cleared one. Ah, so what brings you back to Chicken Little all the time? It's a great restaurant. They have anything you want for breakfast, especially. And a big hearty breakfast for growing boys? That's right. Uh-huh. So what should I order? Um, I think uh, sausage, egg, and cheese is the best. Sausage, egg, and cheese. I don't know. His, his sandwich is looking pretty good over there. I might have to have a bite of that. And maybe a few bacon. You don't mind if I have a little of your bacon, do you? You going to eat those pancakes? Yeah. yeah, I might just try some of those, too. That looks pretty good. You don't mind, right? I'm going to eat the napkin. <laughs> We've got homemade chicken and dumplings, fried green tomatoes, meatloaf, spaghetti, homemade biscuits, homemade gravy. Well, one thing is for sure, this place definitely filled with all kinds of stories. I have met people whose dad dated the guy over there's mom, whose kids have grown up together, some neat things, and it's, of course, the food that keeps them coming back year after year. And check out my breakfast. I've got biscuits and gravy, country fried chicken, French toast with crispy bacon. I've got eggs, I've got a pork tenderloin, some home fries and some toast, which is a little bit of chocolate milk to wash it all down. I guess I better get eating. I've got a lot of sampling to do here. Ooh, syrup.